Welcome to SAG Ministries Intercession Intensive. I'm your host, Apostle Stephen A. Garner. Uh, I want to thank you for tuning in today. Um, we're going to be praying uh, from a book I've written called Prayers That Strengthen Marriages and Families. There are multiple chapters that we have in this book. And we deal with prayers for binding and loosing marriages. Uh, proclamations uh, for our family, uh, prayers for renouncing poverty, prayers for marital victory, prayers for marital alignment in Christ, and then finally prayers for our children. Today we're going to focus in on praying uh, prayers for our children. Uh, there's a very powerful verse found in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse number 21. It says that though the wicked join forces, they shall not go unpunished but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. And I believe we're living in a time, saints, where uh, all kinds of wicked powers have begun to join forces to, for the decimation of our children. But I believe in the power of intercession and that God wants to do something sovereign through this generation. And one thing I've noticed throughout history is that when you find heightened levels of wickedness in any generation, there were always individuals God raised up in that generation to literally bring reform and pioneering acts to advance humanity. And so I believe once again, prophetically, we're in that time and it is important for you and I to get a revelation of the timing and season of God and that the spirit of the sons of Issachar will come upon us even as we're engaging in prayer and we'll have discernment to bring divine distinction to what season we're in, but also we will become a people who are pliable for the power of God to be made manifest under our children. Let's begin to pray. Father, we thank you even now for our sons and our daughters and we thank you Father God for your hand coming upon our children upon our children's children even upon the third and the fourth generation that proceeds from our loins and Father even during this time we thank you for the glory of God being made manifest unto our seed and Father we pray today for Lord for every demonic force every demonic allegiance that has joined itself together against the seed of the righteous Lord God for divine defilement to be released upon these allegiances in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we're praying even now for a strong surge of the power and the presence of God upon our children, uh, even as Isaiah began to declare that, Lord God, that great shall be the peace of our children uh, and our children shall be taught of the Lord. Uh, and, Lord, righteousness, Father God, you will sustain them. Uh, and so I pray even now, Lord, for children all around the globe uh, where there are wicked atrocities being made manifest against our children, uh, even spirits, Father God, that have been stirred up uh, through the kingdoms of lust and perversion uh, to activate men, even the sons of Belial, to abduct children, uh, for the purpose of sex slave uh, activity, oh God. Father, I pray for a supernatural uh, release of judgment all around the nations of the earth uh, and that your fire would fall upon these demonic strongholds. Uh, supernatural tips would come to law enforcement agencies uh, that are assigned globally, even task force, uh, to disrupt these satanic strategies in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, every underground movement of the occult, uh, every demonic assignment to recruit our children uh, and pull them into radicalism and extreme activities uh, for the purpose of activating a uh, Lord God wickedness and causing the blood of the innocent to be shed. Uh, we break the power of these devils uh, and we command today a uh, disengaging every demonic force, uh, every wicked alliance. Uh, we break your power in the name of Jesus Christ uh, and we declare you raise up a righteous seed uh, and that our sons and our daughters will be a seed uh, that will speak to their enemies in the gates. Uh, Father, I pray even now for an activation uh, in the name of Jesus Christ and a release of the power and the fire of God upon our sons uh, and upon our daughters uh, and Lord that you'll begin to break in and you'll cause uh, strong manifestations of glory and power and fire to be upon our sons and upon our daughters. Uh, Lord I declare that through, that I declare this day Father God that angels are being released to encamp uh, round about our children. Uh, angelic activity is increasing on their behalf. Uh, I decree today the power of Psalm 34 7. Uh, the angel of the Lord encamps round about the righteous. Uh, I speak over your children, over your grandchildren uh, divine encirclements of angelic power Power, and every assignment of pedophiles uh, in your territory, every assignment of rapists, uh, every assignment uh, of, of muggers and robbers, uh, every assignment of the sons of Belial uh, in your region, in your territory, your children have 
Diplomatic immunity, uh, angels are being released, even messengers of fire to even be a garrison around our children. Uh, I proclaim divine protection uh, over our children even now, uh, and I decree, Father God, the power of Psalm 91, uh, that he who dwells in the secret place uh, of the Most High shall abide uh, under the shadow of the Almighty. Uh, I loose the shadow of God over our children. Uh, I decree it over children all around North America. I decree it over children in Europe, uh, over children in Asian nations, uh, over children, Father God, in African nations, uh, over the children in the island nations. Uh, let the shadow of God be over them. Uh, I speak it even now in Jesus' name. Uh, and Father, I pray uh, Father, that you would arise uh, and you would begin to fight against them that fight against our children uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I ask you, Lord, to strive with them that strive against them. Uh, every ploy of hell, every pull uh, of the underworld uh, upon their sexuality, uh, every power of hell assigned against uh, their educational fortitude. Uh, I command those powers to be broken uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and Father, I thank you even now for accurate people being released uh, in the lives of our children. Uh, I thank you even now for every wolf in sheep clothing uh, being driven from their presence. Uh, I decree it in Jesus name. Uh, I loose discernment upon our sons and our daughters. Uh, I decree in Jesus name uh, a new release of grace uh, and Lord a statesman's anointing coming upon our seed uh, where they will rise up and prophesy. They will rise up and declare what thus saith the Lord. Uh, they will rise up and speak from the God uh, the, as the oracles of God uh, and Lord they will be those who will break the siege upon their generation. I declare it in Jesus' name. I pray over the infants. I pray, Father God, over the adolescents. I pray over the preteens, the teenagers, and the millennials. I decree an awakening coming to your generation and the glory and power of God coming upon our seed. You shake them, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. For your word declares in Psalm 145 that, Lord God, our son, Psalm 145, that our sons and our daughters, Lord God, will be polished after the simulation of a palace and that our young our sons would grow up and they'll fulfill all their days. I speak that now I rebuke demons of premature death. I rebuke demons of violence and I command in Jesus name a fresh anointing and outpouring of glory upon our children in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Well, thanks. Thank you for tuning in to uh, in Intercession Intensive by way of SAG Ministries. Uh, I'm your host, Apostle Stephen A. Garner, and I want to encourage you to take time to pray for your children. You believe God for your grandchildren, your great grandchildren and those uh, who have yet made their debut upon the planet. There is destiny for them. Uh, and through your intercession, God is going to fall uh, upon their generation. Through your intercession, God uh, is going to be entreated. Through your intercession, God uh, is going to bring revelation and illuminate their purpose for being on this planet. And I, I encourage you to pray that God would be that wall and fire in their midst in Jesus' name. God bless you. We love you. And thank you once again for partnering with us to extend God's kingdom through intercession. God bless.